Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 49. So today we're actually going to dive into agent site page creation. So how to add additional pages onto your agent site. And we're going to focus on testimonials. So I'm going to show you how to create a testimonial capture page and also a testimonial display page. So let's do that by going into our KW Consumer Applet here on the bottom left. And by default, we're always taken into the Agent Site Pages tab. And today we wanna to create two new pages that we're going to show on our agent site. So we'll walk you through what that process looks like. So we're going to create a new page and in doing so, we'll click that button at the top right hand corner. We are asked, do we wanna create a new page on our agent site or as a standalone landing page for lead generation? We're gonna do this on a future challenge, but today we're gonna to focus on our agent site and creating two new sub pages. So let's click on create page. And a lot of this is gonna seem a little bit familiar, both from a mixture of what we did inside of designs and what we did when we built out our email template design um, and our, our social template as well. So first things first, the very top left, you can see the ability to edit the name of the agent site page. Highly recommend you do that such that you then know which site page is what. So today we're going to talk about creating a testimonial capture page. <clears throat> so we'll just call it that for right now. As you come down, you can see the ability to preview this page on a desktop, a tablet, and also a mobile device, very similar to when we were creating our email design. On the right-hand side, you can see you have the ability to undo and redo, or then preview from there. And then finally, on the top right-hand side, you have what are called widgets. These are basically pre-made mini templates, if you will, that will allow you to build out your capture page or any agent site pages much easier than having to go through and add individual components as well. So today we're gonna to talk about actually capturing testimonials. So you can see, and what I would recommend is that you come in here and kind of play with each one of these widgets. Uh, but for today's video, we are going to attempt to capture testimonials from clients that know our work ethic, have worked with us in the past, etc. And then we're gonna go and display those testimonials after the fact. So the first thing we wanna do is click on this testimonial capture form and drag it over. <clears throat> you can see it basically embeds this widget and it tells us that it has not been configured. If we wanted to add any additional widgets, we certainly could. So if we wanted to put the agent profile here, and again, kind of like the email editor, if we drop it above, it's going to show the agent profile and then the second widget, right? Or we can decide, hey, we don't want this one at the top. We actually want this one at the bottom. And then you can see now we've got the capture form and then the agent profile at the bottom as well. So you can kind of decide what order you want these actual testim or, uh, widgets embedded. But for today, what we're attempting to do is have people fill out a form that talks about how their experience was in working with us. So now that we've dropped in this actual widget, we're gonna come down to the bottom of the screen where it says configure widgets. Now the same will be true regardless of what widget you put in. But right now we just have the two, the testimonial capture form and the agent profile. So if we click on configure widgets, the first one is the testimonial capture. It's going to show team name as Royals Realtors. Definitely recommend that if you are a team, put your team name. If you're not a team, just put your personal name. Do not leave Royal Realtors in there and do not leave it blank. Headline text, you can see is gonna show up here at the top and you have 60 characters. Um, please share your experience, experience in working with Marty Miller. Look at that, just barely fit, right? So I can put that in as the actual headline text. Then you can see the description and they've already put this in here. So if you're good with that, then you can just keep moving forward. Um, if you want to change it, you certainly can. The review headline says, how would you rate your experience? And you've got that down here below. And then the review placeholder text will show up down here at the bottom. 
So if we click on save and apply, then you can see all of that information is already embedded. And here is where you would see Royals Realtors if you didn't change that team name. So definitely important that you go ahead and enter that information in as well. Now that we have configured, oops, I spelled experience wrong. Uh, not good, good. Let's go back in. There you go. You can make a change. Always good to <laughs> make sure you double check what you're seeing. All right. And now that we have fully configured this widget, we're going to click on the right arrow, which is going to take us into the agent profile widget. We would want to make sure that we came through and that everything looked correct as far as that widget goes, we would click on save and apply here. And then we can come up to the very top and save our changes. It's gonna say, would you like to continue to the site and app settings to publish your page? And we're gonna say yes. So now we're brought into the agent site pages of the site and app settings guide. Remember we went through that yesterday. And right now you can see that our testimonial capture page is not on our agent site. If we go to martymiller2.kw.com, you can see in the dropdown, all we have are those first two pages that we configured a couple of days ago. So we need to make sure that we get the testimonial capture form included. So to do that, we're going to add the page and then it's gonna say, okay, well, what page do you want to add? Well, we only have three listed, and this is why it's super important to title your page so that you can easily decide which one you want to create and add. So we're gonna click on that, click on continue. <clears throat> then it's gonna ask us to configure what that page actually looks like. Remember this from the Kelly guide? So the page title is uh, leave a review. You can change that to whatever you'd like, right? But let's just make the little slug leave a review you might put the word testimonial you might put right how you know work with marty something along those lines whatever you would like and then this seo description um, additional uh, search engine characterization and optimization you're basically looking for keywords that talk about you real estate your market your area uh, built into several sentences so right now um, uh, what did you think about working in real estate with realtor Marty Miller, All right? Something along those lines. All right, we're gonna click on save. And now you can see settings were updated successfully. If we come back to our page and give it a quick refresh, we should then see this page now in our dropdown. And there it is. And if we click on leave a review, we could send this actual link to consumers that we have worked with and they can begin to fill out this form such that then we can go in and we're gonna do this tomorrow. We're actually gonna pull up testimonials that people have left for us and dim or display those on our agent site. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Today, a basic walkthrough of how to create an agent site page. You can go in and play with those different widgets configure them, but once you've got that page saved, in order to make sure that it actually shows up on your site, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you add the page, go through this process of configuring it, and then it will show in your dropdown. So stay tuned tomorrow, we're gonna go get those testimonials that people have left for us and actually display them on our agent site. Look forward to talking to you then.